Hello devs, this is Sami. So today we are going to be looking at how to generate demo data for your project. You can use this in probably seeding a database or creating a demo credentials if you are building an API service. See you right after the intro. All right, people, welcome back. I am super, super excited recording. If you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell so anytime I make amazing videos like this, you get notified by YouTube. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You guys really, really mean a lot to me. You are contributing to the growth of this channel. All right, let's dive straight into the video. Great. So I'm going to be bringing on my terminal and then I'm going to be installing a third party uh, package in Python, which is actually fake. So I'm saying pip install faker or probably anything you're actually going to be using but just make sure you have faker so for me i'm using pip right now i have actually in, uh, gone ahead to do this i could actually show you if i do a uh, pip list and then i grab for faker you see i have faker already installed on my virtual environment great so let's go about let's first of all build the demo flax app so i'm going to say from flax import Flags. Then I also definitely want to create an instance of the flags, right? So I say name. Now that that is done, I also want to create an index route. This and let's call this this, and then a function. Let's call this a function index. It's not faking anything, but it's actually going to be returning uh a dictionary which is going to be serialized automatically to json okay so let's say this i just want to say status status and then online actually this idea came to me because i'm currently working on uh um building an api with flags for a gig and then i I was actually working on this project and then I still started creating demo data so that the front end people could just see what they are, the potential data that they are going to be consuming. And then it just occurred to me that, whoa, some people out there might not know how to just generate demo data for their project, okay? So once that is done, I also want to use the class based views to do this. So let's just call this to my U users for now and definitely going to be using method view because method view in here i also want to import that from flux views okay so since method view is here all right so now i'm going to be creating the first HTTP I want to handle, which is a get, and let's just say this guy is actually going to be returning uh, a, a list of dictionary, and the dictionary is actually going to contain just strings. Okay. All right. So we're just going to return users right we're going to return users now users is not existing currently now we'll get to that i just want to just set the ground rules first then on the post request then on the post request i want to uh, taking the user data taking the user data and then return it and what i'm going to be returning is actually going to be a dictionary of strings as the key and the value is also going to be strings great i'm just going to return the user data all right then let's go so i'm going to say if double ask called name equals name i want to run this app Definitely want to run it in deep debug mode. Definitely want to run this in debug mode, right? Since I'm also using the flux uh, class based views, I definitely want to uh, create the um, 
url rule to register these two guys here so i'll say for this guy here let the endpoint let the uh endpoint be all users then the view come on then the view function should be um my users where is it here as view then this guy is going to going to say this is all users all users and this is for the first one then the next one i also want to register is uh create user create user and the view function is still going to be uh my users as view now this time i want to say create create user all right so with that now i have like a base now to start up with so now let's now talk about creating the demo data so just the way you do with flags you have to import the fika you have to import fika from the fika uh, module now once you've done that you also want to create an instance right so i'm going to say fake equals to fika now you can also pass in a local or for this particular guy uh like the location or the area where it should take bearing from all right but for me i just want to keep it on the default okay so now let's now create this user so i'm going to be using list comprehension to do this here so i'm going to be saying i um i want to i want a dictionary that has just uh the name let us say the name no the email actually because it should be unique since it's a key now this is where fika comes in now i can use the fake dot hmm? and whatever thing i want to use here so since i'm using email i will i like using the ask safe email to do this so this now is going to generate a random safe email address for me this is going to be generating a random safe email address for me now i also want to uh, uh say create a key of name so i want to create a key of name and again i'm going to be using the fake dots name to do this it's going to generate a random name i also want to do uh, a phone number right so i say phone number phone number and then i will use fake dots phone number all right so this is going to be generating i would want to style this properly i'd want to style this properly great so this is going to this is going to be creating this particular da uh, data so i'm just going to come and say for uh for underscore in range let us i want it to run for just 10 times great so this is now going to be creating 10 dictionaries of random name email so random name yes na email email name and phone number you can also go with a, a social security number or even account it's like i will also drop the the a link to the docs for the fake emoji so you can actually read and see a whole lot that it, pro uh, it provide okay so this is what i want to achieve now on this particular place here i want to should i yeah i think i should add it to users i think i should add it to users i say users dot append user data then i also want to return the user data so this is just like a demo api right so we're using the this is the users list there is actually a list of dictionaries 
and it's for now it's going to be 10 right and then we have an index route and then this is our our new endpoint right so let's come i also want to create two terminals because i want this terminal to be the server and then i'm going to be using curl to make request here all right great so i'll come here clear my terminal and do python app.py all right so our server is up great so I'll come here and just test it the curl loop who holds 5000 and let's see great see i got the response of status online so which is great so now let's talk about this so now let's see if this all users is it's going to work properly so i'm going to come here clear clear and then i'm going to say um all users fantastic now you can see i didn't actually create them there was no way i had coded the values right this is a super super efficient way to get things done you can see this is the response i got right for all users so now let's say i want to now make a post request right to this particular uh place to this particular endpoint all right so so let's come here and then say clear okay so i'm going to be making using call again to make a post request so my method is post uh definitely i want to set the uh should i should i use form data or um should i use form data now uh, let's see i think i would need to change this to form data yeah let's say i change this to form so let's say i change this to form data so i'm definitely going to be importing request request you could also use application application json remember i'm actually building this for an api right but just let's just say you are using the normal uh, form to do this so that i'm going with form but you definitely want to um use application json if you are going to be doing this with curl and you are using you know what let's just get let's just get into it so i say user user that search should now be request request dot form request dot form dot uh to dict yep so this is going to get the request of form data as the user data and now i am appending the user data and also returning it so i can come here and then i need to set the header so the header now which is content content type is uh multi i spelled that wrongly multi parts multi part form that's uh i also did not right that way this is multi part form data now this one if you are actually doing this now for an api all you just have to do here now is when if you are using corona to just put application uh application json all right but i want to use curl here so content type is multi part form data oh so sorry about that i am i wasn't done yet so i'm going to repeat the put then the header is content type which is multi parts from data then i want since i'm using form data i want to set the field so let's just say the field in this case is um let's say email 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 rather it becomes 
email user user at e or let us use that example yeah let's use example dot com and then the name and then the name then the name should be uh Sammy Kings and then and the phone number so let's go phone number let's just say plus two three four one two three four five six great let's just use this and yep i also want to now specify the url uh, which is localhost 5000 creates user all right great oh fantastic i didn't do this i didn't reload so clear and there we run this fantastic now you can see i got the required response now if i go back to if i go back to run uh, this to get all users i should be seeing this new user there and great you can see it this is just a quick way for you to actually create some demo data and get on to building your stuff so you get to focus on what matters and don't start worrying yourself about oh i want to create this and all that now nah, that's old school man all right guys thank you for staying true if you enjoyed the video kindly share to your friends that might need this and as well stick around for the next video i'm going to be publishing soon gotcha